Creme de la creme, I have to think, remember the words, eh? Yeah. This segment is brought to you by 123 Digital Limited, your online and offline strategist. Hey, this is Tedison John from the beautiful island of St. Lucia, and I am here with Dazzle Spotlight. I got into music, I don't know, I, 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 would, I would say by default, you understand, um, from a kid in, in, in church, raised up in the church, um, children choirs and, and, and church plays and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's from there I, I fell in love with music, I would say from, from church time, you know. I guess it, it, the, the song that everybody, I guess, got to, to know me from on the outside and got introduced me, introduced to, to, to me um, was probably Ali, um, that was in 2016. But I was doing music way before that. But I think what got people introduced to the name Tedison John regionally and internationally is, I would say, is Ali. In soca music, I've been fortunate to, to, to work with um, Kerwin Dubois, Blacks, Bungie, um, Lyrical Voice, Kess, you know, um, and the list goes on whether it is production or writing or you know putting stuff together i've, I've been fortunate to to do stuff with some people um power soak has never been something for me that i i always you know wanted to be part of i tried it but everybody knew me more as a you know a groovy a groovy person i think power soca you know you need to i don't know you need to have that kind of stamina eh, for power to run all around the place and do what you do, backflip and do all kind of thing. I think I reach there yet. So I like, um, I like the groovy. You know, you get some of the same reactions anyways, you know, with it. So I stuck to what worked, you know, for me. And then with the groovy, I was able to, to sing a little bit more, you know, and, and, and stretch my vocals and do that kind of stuff and experiment. I think the way you can experiment in a groovy is different compared to a power. Yeah. Everyone asked me, um, Teddy, when you gonna, you know, jump or when you gonna do a Denry, you know, segment or when you gonna do a Denry song. For me, I had to study first because I wanted to make sure I didn't sound like anything else that was, you know, on it. Um, a lot of the songs on the Denry rhythms, you know how with the the, 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 the vocal, the, the the content, you understand the, the, the lyrics. It's it's a little, it's a little different from what I would do. Um, so I had to find a way to sort of like bring that commercial, you know, commercial vibe to it, or I try to to mesh, mesh it. My first experience with 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 the Denry was last year when I did a song called True Ways with G Six. Um, he's an amazing, uh, amazing producer um, of of Denry, you know. I uh, of Denry music. I call him the the Travis World of of, of you know, Saint Lucia because he's pretty quiet and just cool and and to himself, but does some amazing work. So when I got it, I was like, okay, I wanted to take it and add my element. So that's why I added you know guitars. I added different things that you know to make it more into something that I would want to do. Still got that rough beat, you know, that, that hardcore, raw percussion, you know, percussive kind of parts and stuff. But I just wanted to add an element for Teddy, you know, because I'm a musician as well. And, you know, I have ideas too, so I need to do it, you know. So that was my first um, take in it, in the Denry. That one was written with um, Darwin God, Dali and myself. We did that one. Um, that was my first time there. Um, this year with, with the creme de la creme, it was something that that when I heard when I heard the rhythm, I think I came back to St. Lucia to do something for independence because I was in Trinidad and I heard Hyper D playing. I think it was the one drop on the on the on the rhythm. And I, I asked who was that, you know, producer when I got to it was G6. It it really it really caught my attention, you understand? So for me, I wanted to be able to, to do something again 
different. When I listened to all the songs on the rhythm, I wanted to, to come different. A lot of people appreciated the fact that I stayed true to me. You know, I'm a singer. So I cannot come and do what, you know, a black boy or a still buns or umpa or moto, everybody, you know, is doing. I had to do it different and I had to put my way, my style, you know, on it. And I wanted to do a song that is sort of like different in terms of talking about, you know, a woman in a different way. Because, I mean, in Soka, everything is, you know, they drop the bumpers and they, you know, this and that and they do the, you know, capsize yourself, you know, the split, the, all kind of things. So, I mean, I can't do that, you know, it, it wouldn't be me. So I wanted to do something in a different, in a different way. I wanted to talk to the ladies in a different way. You want to uplift ladies in a different way, describe beauty in a different way, you know, just uh, do songs for a woman of substance. So that's what I wanted to do. Creme de la Creme, produced by G6, Productions and Tedison John and written by Savion, written by Blue and Tedison John. Verse one. You got that pretty little smile. I spot you anywhere from a mile, baby. Logging in your profile. No spam, no bad database, baby. Persona alluring. Full of vibe, never boring. Flawless to the flooring, mm, and you give me a new meaning to life, to life. Baby girl, you're the best part out of my life, and I don't want you to change your moods. Hey, they got nothing on you, and you got nothing to prove. Ah, uh ah, -uh, you are my criminal, criminal, criminal. Criminal, criminal, criminal. Fellas, you ever you ever seen a woman and you 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 just can't help but watch her like her, 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 her apart from her her body, which is the you know the regular thing. I think you know like her smile, her her face, her vibe just you know captures you. You and anywhere you see her, you can spot her anywhere. In a crowd, you can just because you 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 that smile is is a unique smile. That smile is a one of a kind. That's what it is. You got that pretty little smile, and I spot you anywhere from a mile. And logging into your profile is 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 more like the the new way of of you know. I mean, with social media and, and no spam and, and all that kind of stuff. That was a very intelligent line. Blue, big up yourself for that one. Logging into your profile, no spam, no bad database. You know, in the laptop, you know how it is already. You gotta get a fresh laptop, the laptop clean, or you checking it out, everything clean. So the, that person ain't had nothing wrong with them. You know, the persona is uh, uh, amazing. That that aura about them is just, you know, it it holds you and it, it captivates you, and they flawless in your eyes from head to toe. You know, and and you get somebody like that, and that sometimes you you. You never see a situation where you're with somebody and that person makes you better as a man. You understand? So that's where you'd get like you you bring me or you give me a new meaning, you know, to life. It's like you a breath of fresh air to my life and don't change who you are. You know, they ain't got nothing in you. Don't change who you are. You know, you don't have anything to prove and you simply the best of the best which is called creme de la creme. Yeah. Chorus. You are my creme de la 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 Best of the best, baby. Uh-huh. Creme de la creme. Best of the best. That's just what it is. You see that person and, and that's the, just the vibe you, you feel. That's what that person brings to you. And the post chorus is like, baby girl be you. Baby girl be you. They got nothing on you. Ooh. Ooh. Baby girl be you. They got nothing on you, my baby. Ooh. Don't change who you are. Be yourself. Be you. Let me tell you something. 
fellas though, like, at the end of the day, fellas like somebody that the same person they see in the picture is the same person that they can wake up next to. You understand? Be your natural self. We love that. You understand? No filter. No kind of thing. I don't want to check somebody and when we go home, you have to take out your hair, you have to take out your eyebrows, you have to take out your... Life. That is nonsense. That's disrespectful. We don't like disrespect. Anyways. Yeah, I just have to put that in there. But it's not right. So we like that natural vibe. We like that natural energy. We like that, you know, just be you. And be grateful for you. Yeah, that's what God gives you. So with that. Yeah. Second verse. A ray of sunshine. Joy you bring to my life. Hard to find like a gold mine. Gal, you rare like fine wine. You are one in a million, girl. Rare just like a Caribbean pearl. You top Miss Universe and Miss World. That is lyrics there, you know. You are one in a million, girl. You're rare, just like a Caribbean pearl. You've topped Miss Universe and Miss Will. You are my... Criminala, criminala, criminala. Criminala, criminala, criminala. Best of the best, baby. Uh-huh. That's what it is. The, these lyrics are, I would say, self-explanatory, if you ask me. A ray of sunshine you bring to my life. It's a joy that... She brings the, you know, she brings the me um, and stuff like that. It, it, it's hard to find, you understand? You don't just wake up and you get gold mines everywhere, you know? So a gold mine is very hard. A gold mine is very hard to find. So the second verse is real my favorite part in the song. Eh? I, I love the second verse. I love how it was written. Blue, we did a good job on that one. Yeah, it mad. Yes, okay, this is Teddy and John, and you can follow me on social media, everything at Teddy and John, T-E-D-D-Y-S-O-N-J-O-H-N, Instagram, um, my website, www.teddysonjohn.com, music, everything that I'm up to, you get there, Facebook, the same thing, all handles at Teddy and John. Thank you so much for for supporting, thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you so much for loving the music. Uh, you keep me going. Bless. Subscribe to Dazzle Magazine on YouTube. Make sure. All right? Okay. The average, oh Lord. I like, let me see it. I have a blankie. Yeah, a big man like me. I don't care if you are. I have a nice little t-shirt that is roll and fall asleep with. <laughs> yeah, 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 that is it. I have no, I have no name. It has changed. The name and thing has changed. Yeah, Safina. Safina, yeah, Safina is one. I know where the other one. I know, yeah, it has changed. When I was when I was younger, I had I always played with you know stuff to fall asleep, and it never changed. So anything soft that I get, I pass my hand on it and I just knock out. So that's why it is. Yeah, cool. yeah. Right. I think it running in the family. You know, my brothers have them too. You know, I treat all of them the best they have, but it's alright. Wildest. Well, my wild is a different thing, eh? because um, because of the inspirational music that I've that that I do now, and everybody got to know me for that. Um, I've had some instances where you know where people come up to me and talk to me and tell me their stories, you know, and and when you listen to their stories, you really don't know how to handle, you know. You really don't know how to handle a, an answer, you know, when somebody tells you the way that your song make them feel or what they're going through, their personal struggle, you understand, um, from losing family members to suicide, to, you know, to all sorts of things and being able to hear a song that can uplift them, you know, m my wildest, you know, experiences are these, you know, meeting these type of people, um, I remember there was this guy who met me, um, it was in Trinidad, and he told me with, with 
when when Ali came out, you know, he had to walk in on you know one of his family members, you know, about to commit you know suicide, and and it it, it was something that the song took him and it it really helped him through a a hard time, you know, like that. I I think it taught me the power of lyrics. It taught me the power of music, you understand? And it taught me how deep, you know, music can be used to touch somebody's life. You understand? It makes sense. That's what it is for me. So that's my wildness is being able to touch people and seeing these kind of stories. Because when we come from here, we just, you know, we when we started doing music before, it was just for fun and, you know, carnival season, you do a song, mash up this, you run there, you do this, you do that. And after that, it's done. But um, when you start going out and you start touching these territories, it's hard, you know, not to take that very serious. You understand? So this is my wildest experience. <laughs>